I know the stereotype is that younger folks are more technologically savvy and, and one might even make the mistake of thinking that that's primarily who we're seeing over telehealth. Our experience has been quite the opposite. It's a really diverse group of, of ages. I think that my oldest patient is in his mid 60s, several patients in their 50s, folks who wouldn't necessarily fit the stereotype of people that are cutting edge with technology and yet they were able to navigate it pretty seamlessly. I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of 80% of our ongoing patients have decided to continue and do telehealth from home. Perhaps one interesting story that I can share with regards to a, a case that I'm working with is a gentleman in his mid-50s who's been dealing with very severe anxiety chronically for quite a bit of time in his life. For this particular patient, the ability to sort of maintain a sense of composure and calmness at the beginning of this session, sitting on his own couch, talking to me with a cup of coffee in his hand, he's been much more relaxed. We haven't taken up 10, 15 minutes in the beginning of session getting him stable and emotionally regulated so that he can engage in therapy. We're actually getting more bang for the buck and being able to jump right in and, and get into the good part of the session without having to do that every single time. And if anything, the sessions are richer for it. And his therapy has actually really gone a lot better in the last three weeks than it was prior. For patients that are dealing with economic consequences and challenges, it's very economical for them to get on their computer rather than having to pay for gas or pay for an Uber, pay for a Lyft to get on the bus. It's less time consuming for them to access behavioral health, which can be a barrier for some folks. I have patients that have three jobs and they can't necessarily make the time to come and do therapy appointments on top of that. But if you take the 20 minute commute at the beginning and end out of it, they can squeeze a session in. And that's not really about the luxury of making life easier. It really can be a matter of life or death for patients that can't necessarily bring themselves to engage in therapy if it requires the financial expense and the time and the complications of getting into an office in person.